Hey guys, welcome back to Jersey Shore Beers and Brews Reviews. Got our second review, yeah, review of the day. Easy for me to say. Uh, it's Friday. We are ready to drink some beer. It's been a long week. A lot of time spent on those uh, those roundtable videos, getting them in order. Um, they're only going to get better too because we have uh, us guys haven't seen each other in probably three, four months. You know, so uh, it was it was a little awkward for those guys. They haven't been in front of the camera like this, um, talking about stuff that they haven't talked about yet. But it was a good time. Anyway, the next beer that's in the line here is called Suedo Sioux Pale Ale. Again, it's by Toppling Goliath Brewing. Um, says on the can, this single hop pale ale showcases the citra hop for a well-balanced beer that is delicate in body with a mild bitterness in the finish. Ferocious hop aromas of citrus and mango give a refreshing taste that is bright and just enough bite. Unfiltered beer. Sediment is normal. This one comes in at 5.8%. Um, so this ought to be interesting. Citra. Man, I'm getting tired of that hops. You know how many different kinds of hops there are? <laughs> Come on. Well, let's pour it back and see what it does. Comes in at a straw color. Got a big old head going to be developing on this thing. Can tell just by the size of the bubbles coming out of the can there. Wow. Pale L. So we're going to have a little bit better taste than we did on the last one, which was a lager. This one's a pale ale. Um, should be a little bit more bitter as well. Big old head. I got, got pond water in there. <laughs> New terms from the round table. There's a couple of them. You'll see them if you watch the videos. I highlighted them straight out. Um, what was the other one? Uh, one was about Starbucks. The other one was Willy Wonka stuff. It was a good time, man. It was a good time. <laughs> All right, so we're just about full. I mean, I'm, I'm going to leave the rest in here because I think it's pretty heavy pond water just by the floaties that are going on in that. Um, so we'll see what this one does. Well, you can definitely tell. It smells like an IPA. You know, it's banging that Citra hop right in your face going, mm, here I am, Citra. Citra, give me hops. That, that head ain't going nowhere. Almost like it's cemented there. Let's blow that froth back and get some in our mouth and see what it tastes like. Man, it almost tastes like an IPA light. Just because it's citra. It's the same. It's the same as everybody's using in their IPAs. This world needs some forward-thinking people. Different ideas. Break new ground. We got a couple, don't get me wrong. But man, I don't know, you know, it's like, well, what kind of hops do we have over there in the fridge? Well, we got a whole bunch of citra that we've been using for the IPAs. All right, let's use that in the pale ale. I mean, it, I don't know. This is it a pale ale? Yeah, it's probably close to a pale ale. I don't know what the IBUs are. It might even be close to like an India pale ale. But does it taste all right? Yeah, it tastes all right. Does it taste like everything else that I've been drinking? Yep, it tastes like everything else I've been drinking. Need different, need new. Keep saying it. Um, score is gonna be lower sevens. I'm gonna come in with this one at like seven one. Um, just because I'm disappointed. That's that's why. You you, you did nothing there. Um, cool. You got a, definitely got a cool can. Got a dinosaur on it. Purple dinosaur. Purple and green. We'll show you that. Um, seven one. Disappointing. I wouldn't buy it again. But that's just me. Anyway, that's a review, guys. Next one is going to be that stout. I think I got in there. I think that one comes in at like ten and a half percent. That one's going to change the taste. All right. Peace, guys. We'll see you on the next one.